News Load London presents. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Stevenson. We're here at Tower House with Luca. Hi, everyone. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm the manager of community corporate partnerships here at 100 Kellogg. And usually I'm used to giving tours for people above ground uh, with the whole property, but this is the first time we're actually going to go below ground and show a little of what people have never seen before. It's the spooky Halloween session. Uh, Powerhouse Brewery is actually named after the building that supplied all the power for for Kellogg's when it was the Kellogg's plant. So to call the brewery Powerhouse was a kind of a cool play on words. But this tunnel underneath connects us to uh, the other side of the courtyard uh, where it will go to the new Hard Rock Hotel. But I've never actually been down here before, so we're going to be discovering everything for the first time. Ugh. Oh, the door's kind of sticky. Here we go! Right, right this way, guys. Stay close. Um, is that human... Ba uh, Waste? Do we think it's... Decomp. Human? Yeah, do we think something's decomposed down here? I don't know, but we should probably just step over it. Okay. Ugh. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? What was that? It's like a... I thought I heard something. Echo. Okay, this part here. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? So this, this area, they've unearthed some... Yeah, if it wasn't for these safety lights on, this area is pretty, uh, pretty Dark creepy. Dark and spooky. Yeah. But this building was 105 years old before, 110 years old before it closed down in 2014. Right through the door slammed. Where's that light? Hello? Watch your step. Are we good? I'm getting nervous. I think we're good. I... Could have been a raccoon. Maybe. Really? A raccoon? Okay, this part over here. Watch Please your step. Please watch your step. These walls remind me of like, like it was like a giant shower stall or something or but it's not. There was something right there in the middle of a cylinder. What's with the almost like... Do you hear all the time? <laughs> I have my limits. I'm not going in the circle. <laughs> Unless it's surrounded by salt, then maybe. So tell us about the future of Kellogg's and the factory and powerhouse and everything. Well, the future of 100 Kellogg, we have um, the food hall coming here, we have the children's museum coming here, we have the very first Hard Rock Hotel in Canada coming here, and our event center where the Van Gogh experience is happening right now will be our 1300 person convention center. So when all is said and done, we'll have more people working here than what Kellogg's employed when they had to close in 2014. Uh, it's definitely going to be a destination if not already and has already named Canada's largest indoor entertainment complex. What's that over there? Help. Help. Why? What the hell, Carrie? What did you get us into? Be careful over there. We saw the word help on the door. So yeah, there's some, lots of things down these tunnels. This is some pretty cool restaurant equipment. Oh my god, do you see this? Look at that, look at that! What? Nothing there. This it was right there a second ago. This is going to be Gary, used. What are you fucking it was a bloody hand. It was in the sink. I saw it. I just looked. We just looked. Like this sink will be used to wash. It was right there. I saw a hand in the sink. I'm not crazy. Can we can we get out of here, please? I'm I'm officially freaked out. Like this is this is officially creepy. Maybe. No, somebody there was a hand in the sink. I saw it. Can we just go? I've had enough. This is, no, okay. this isn't funny anymore. This was the old inventory control room for Kellogg's. So like the flour and everything? Uh, no. So if, if pallets had all the cereal boxes on it, 
Think of like a giant robotic arm that would come down and grab it out and pull it down. So almost like a giant vending machine Wow! in that sense. There was a forklift driver that didn't have his license. So he shouldn't have been operating the forklift. But back then people were very, you know, less say fair with that kind of stuff as compared to now. And he accidentally ran over one of his fellow employees and killed him in this room. So, but no one talks about it, but apparently you know about it. Well, I've been told there's some people who feel that they've had a haunting or a, a, a presence when, when they're in this room. I only came into this room to put stuff away from the Christmas market, so I haven't experienced anything myself, but you have to talk to some ex-employees, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable being in here right now. Maybe we just go. What was that? Go! Go! This is the news load.